All right, so I'm going for the last movie that's going to be coming out this year for superheroes, and that is Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I know it's just a Marvel shirt, not Guardians of the Galaxy shirt, but, but where on earth am I going to find a Guardian of the Galaxy shirt? Everyone, I'm Lazy Dude 99, and welcome to the last of my videos for the superhero predictions video of the year 2014. So, one of the movies that is going to be a little huh to a lot of people is The Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, this is based on the Marvel comic about all these uh, different characters from different parts of the galaxies that get together and form a team, and they call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, what can we get from this trailer? I don't really know because. Okay, let me just put it this way. The most that I know about the Guardians of the Galaxy is from that one episode of Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And that's about it. And I didn't really... It's a little weird because some of the characters in the show didn't really match up with what I thought them in, the, in this. I mean, the character Star-Lord, for example, in the show, in the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, he seems very serious and stoic and thinks through everything. Here he just looks like a high school... A college jock. Not a high school. A college jock who's just like... What up, man? I just go. How's it going? Now here's the thing. Here's a qu quick question. That uh, okay? In the trailer, basically, we get this guy. He calls himself Starlord. Nobody's ever heard of him. Uh, then he's taken to this detention area. We got a whole bunch of different. Uh, we were introduced to our cast. We got this guy who's like this super uh, strong guy. We got this woman who she's an assassin in green. And she's probably the same species that Captain Kirk was sleeping with in uh, Star Trek. Anyway, when we also got um, Groot, who is this giant tree-like guy that's going to be played by Vin Diesel. And we also got a uh, raccoon, Rocket Raccoon, that's going to be played by Bradley Cooper. Yeah, that's the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, let me just say that it's kind of weird that they're making a Guardians of the Galaxy movie, considering that it's like not really that famous of a comic book or a like it's it's like semi known to the Marvelites, but I didn't even know hear about them until until Marvel vs. Capcom three, the download of like the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom three, where you got Rocket Raccoon, and I'm just like, who the heck is Rocket Raccoon? I mean, just like Rocket Raccoon. I've never even heard of that. Who wants to play as a raccoon with a gun? Anyone? 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 In any case, this is like probably one of the weirdest trailers that I've ever seen in a while because. It, it just plays them normal, and they're, they're having fun with it. Like, nobody really knows who the heck the Guardians of the Galaxy are. And then we have this, Ooga Chaka, Ooga Chaka, Ooga, Ooga. I'm like, what the heck is that doing in here? And then we have, like, Hooked on a Feeling playing at the end. I'm just like, what the... It, it goes for a truly odd feel for the trailer, and I think that's really indicative of what the movie is going to be like. It's probably going to try to not to be straight-up science fiction or straight-up comedy. It's going to try to be an odd movie, and that's what I think it is, and um, that's what we get from the trailer. What am I looking forward to? Honestly, I don't know. I'm actually kind of looking forward to Rocket Raccoon, which which is uh, surprising because he was like the character I said did not deserve to be in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. But now we got Rocket Raccoon! I mean, okay, it's just dumb, guys. I want to see this raccoon kick some butt, okay? Maybe it'll just give me some flashbacks of Reaper Chief, but I, who doesn't want to see a raccoon firing a machine gun and just, like, looking like, Bah! I mean, I don't know, that looks kind of funny, kind of cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what they do with this kind of lower key team at Marvel, and I'm hoping that this, like, shows to DC, hey, if we can make money with this movie about our lower key characters, you can make money with some of your bigger characters that you still haven't made movies about yet. Oh, Wonder Woman! The Flash! At least they're giving Flash his own TV show. However, in any case, I'm, I won't say that I'm like super, super psyched for this movie. I will say that I'm interested and I'm intrigued. So what I'm looking forward to is really, or what I hope I get from this movie is I hope... I hope they sell me on this. I hope that I get sucked into this world of Guardians of the Galaxy and that they really show me how these guys and girl is in interesting characters in their own right. And I really hope that that's what they show me. If they don't give me that, if I'm like, oh, I don't really care about these characters, then I don't think I can get into the movie. So I, what I'm hoping is that this movie really gets me to care about these characters and want to see them do well. Here's a quick question, though. One question I have is, uh, okay, how are they 
humans here. Because in the Marvel Universe that we have set up, humans are just figuring out that there are aliens that are real. You know, that's what they just figuring that out with the whole Shatari invasion and thing in the Avengers. But we have the Star-Lord guy who says, I'm an intergalactic thief, whatever. You know, and I'm just like, well, okay, how did you get there? If you you look human, so if you're human and you live on Earth, how did you get to the galaxy? And then there's a couple of people that are, the people that are transitioning them through this prison line that are like, um, they look pretty human. So are, is there like another colony of humans that were on a different planet and not on Earth? And so they know more about the science fiction stuff and we don't? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I hope they explain that. My biggest fear of this movie is that it's just going to be forgettable, that it's going to be overshadowed by these other movies, and that it's just going to be like, oh yeah, what was that movie? Guardians of the, the Universe or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Whatever. You know, I, I, that's my biggest fear, that this is just going to be a forgettable movie, that its odd humor and odd style is just going to be glanced over and not make a memorable imprint. That would be my, my biggest fear of this movie. So my exciting level, I would probably say it's about the same as my X-Men Days of Future Past. I'm excited for it. I want to see it. And I'm interested. But maybe with another trailer where we actually get to see what the Guardians of the Galaxies are fighting against or doing, maybe then I'll be more into it. But right now, I'm just... I'm interested. I'm interested in what the movie is going to be presenting. But I'm, I'm not someone that's like, oh my gosh, when you just see the Guardians of the Galaxy, but I like the different unique style that they're doing with it, and that they're going to go for a more lighthearted feel, because it seems too many movies these days are going for the dark and serious. And that's basically all I have to say about the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer and what I think about the movie. So thanks for watching my superhero predictions videos for the year 2014. With me, I am uh, LazyDude99, and I hope that this year is a great movie for superheroes. And if it is, then uh, I'll be making my top five superhero movies that are coming out this year. Is there five? Well, well who knows? We'll see. Until next time, I'm Lisa Dude 99 and Uga Chaka, Uga Chaka, Uga, Uga, Uga Chaka. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel. And wait for more coming soon.